Hello everyone, welcome back with another very useful and informative video. In this video, I'll show you if you're trying to open the page on Safari browser and you're having this type of problem, Safari cannot open the page because too many redirects occur. So if you're having this type of issue on your Safari browser, on your iPhone or iPad device, then here in this video, I'll show you how you can easily fix this type of error or this type of problem on your iPhone, iPad, or any other iOS device. First of all, here you'll have to close this tab. After that, first of all, here you will need to open setting on your iPhone or iPad device. Then after that, here you will need to scroll below and here search for Safari browser. So here you'll have to search for Safari. Here is Safari. You will need to tap on this. Then you will see this type of interface here. You will have to scroll it below all the way. And here you will have to tap on advanced on your iPhone device. Then after that here you will need to tap on website data. From here, here you can see that here is a lot of website data. Here you will have to tap on remove all website data from here. Then again tap on remove now. After that go back and here you will have to again open go back. Then here you will have to again open Safari. Then here you will need to scroll it below. And here you will need to tap on clear history and website data. After that here you will have to select the all history. Then here you will need to tap on clear history. Then after that here you will have to go back. Then here you will have to again open setting. Then scroll it below and here tap on general. Then here again scroll it below and here you will need to tap on transfer or reset iPhone. Then after that here you will need to tap on reset. Then here you will need to tap on reset network settings. After that enter here your iPhone password then after that go back. Then here you will have to close this tab. After that here you will have to force restart your iPhone device. By tapping on the volume up button then volume down then press the power button until Apple logo appears on your iPhone display. Then after that here you will need to again open settings. Then here you will have to scroll it below. Then tap on general. Then here you will have to again scroll it below and here is option of background app refresh tap on this and here you'll have to make sure that background app refresh should be turned on and all toggles below should be enabled from here then after go back and open safari browser and search any website in safari search bar then after that after all the setting hopefully your problem will be fixed and you will be able to use safari browser smoothly on your iphone or ipad device so that's it from this video hopefully you like this video if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so that you can get my all upcoming videos. Thanks for watching this video.